I think I think I jumped that too early. Doodle wanted to come in. Doodle. So we started our preparations here for the eclipse. We have our makeshift pinhole. As you can see there, you can see the little pinhole there. And of course, this will be our projector screen here. So it actually worked pretty good. We did, uh, I was able to get a uh, nice shot of the sun here right out of, uh, right through our door here. So we don't even have to be outside at the moment. We just got to line it up correctly. So we should, should start to see a little shadow creep across the sun right about now so our eclipse is starting the eclipse for us starting right now oh, i see dirt from the door don't see anything yet but uh we'll be trying to set up our tablet cam as well uh to take a look and see if we can get anything going closer closer to when we reach the peak of the eclipse but we'll see how things go in the meantime we've got some gaming to do here on our uh, eclipse celebration stream i guess you could say our, our eclipse day stream here so let's get on let's do a little bit of zoo tycoon here with the uh abby boo zoo uh so where are we the large grassland zoo that's the one we are currently uh Playing. So let's load this puppy up. Mm -hmm. so again, thank you for joining me today, everybody. BJ Weller here with you. Great fun today. To see some visits from uh, the Twitch Kitten family here today as well. I'm glad to have everybody along for the ride. And, oh, I got OBS up. I want, what do I want up? Oh, yes, my, my Moobot here. Excellent. Do, do, do. And of course, Fury Heidi, aka Nadir, swinging by as usual throughout our streams. Much appreciated as well. So we'll give this we'll give this about forty minutes here for uh, for Zoo Tycoon. I think about two 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 o'clock my time, two o'clock in the afternoon, which is about a little less than forty minutes from now. Uh, we'll start uh, we'll start uh, some serious preparations here. We'll see if we can get a shot of the sun with our tablet cam um, and see how things go. See if uh, let me maneuver my Logitech cam to take a look at our pinhole viewing screen. And uh, we'll see how things go. In the meantime, let's uh, let's get some zooing going here. The Abbey Boo Zoo, named in honor, of course. Uh, those aren't the shoes you need to be wearing. You can put your sandals on. Yeah. Abby the Troll and Aaron the Hype. Aaron the Boo. Abby the Troll and Aaron the Boo. Uh oh. We got pregnant horses. We're gonna have some horses come. All right, so there's a restaurant. So good. We've got people visiting the restaurant now, which is what we needed. So we got people coming over this way. How are we doing here? Oh no, I don't want to sell it. I want to. Uh... Here we go. All right, upkeep a hundred. So good. We are now okay. Good. We are now making a profit at the restaurant at least. Okay. So that's good. We got our little mini aquariums here we set up last week or two weeks ago. I, I actually, we didn't, uh, oh, that's right, because of the issues we had with Twitch. We actually did not have any streams last Monday, so this was a couple weeks ago. And I think uh, I wasn't even able to stream uh, Zoo Tycoon the last time, too. All right, so let's see where we're at here. Uh, sorry, I got to rotate this way. I forgot. There we go. Got to get used to all the controls as <laughs> they are in each game. All the different controls. Okay, so let's see what we want to do here now. Um, so we got some uh, snack stands. I think our animals here are happy. Alright, so 
So those are the peacocks. These were the marquettes. They seem to be doing well. I had to extend their their pens a bit and give them more room. There's the horses, so we should be up. Oh. Apple, so are you the pregnant one? Yes, you are the pregnant one. Going to eat the hay. That's your mate. So no word yet on when this birth is going to happen. Of course, we do have to give it time. I mean, after all, she did just get knocked up here. Mm. Oh, you know what? And I forgot to change again the game. So let's uh, do that. Zoo Tycoon 2. 2. Let's do that right quick. There we go. Zoo Tycoon 2. All right, there we go. That's because that, that's kind of what we're playing here. I'm going to have to remember that when I uh, do the highlights here. Uh... No, I don't want the chip for adoption. Oh, how cute. Oh, that made you happy, huh? Okay. Yeah, well, I want to see the birth of the little pony. Well, we could be all day at this, and we don't have all day. We've got an eclipse coming up in half an hour. In order to uh, get some more prep time going. So, all right. The pony will be born when the pony is ready to be born. Eh? So, let's see what we've got going on here. Because we do have to get prepped for our Extra Life stream team stream, too, at 3 o'clock as well. Can't reach the ungulate poop. And why not? It's right there. Where are you? 
perhaps if you would just stop wandering around and just go pick up the poo Dude. 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 Really? I, I guess I'm just going to have to go in and clean it up myself. Well, hello, pony. Good guests love our zoo. How awesome is that? You're hungry? Well, I just filled up your hay again. Oh, Abs. Oh, Abigates. Looks like that's all full up. I haven't even been eating out of that trough, so maybe I should just get rid of that trough. They seem to prefer eating out of that hay. So let's just uh, let's sell that. We'll move this. Let's move this. We'll move this. Uh, we'll move this over here. Or perhaps we won't. There we go. I think I like that there. All right, so let's let's let, let's let's build something, shall we? Oh, Mercat Eight is now pregnant. Oh dear. Um, oh my God, the animals are just going wild. Animals going wild, all right. Oh boy. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see. Let's let's do an animal. Bring an animal out. Uh, you know what? Pony rides. Come think of it. Um, wow. Nobody's been riding any ponies. Well, what the heck is up with you? Uh, your amusement is satisfied. I understand why people are not riding any ponies here. Um, let's uh, let's set low prices for that for now. Right now we 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 ain't making nothing on this. I don't think it shouldn't be that the pathway ends there. It shouldn't be. Yeah, because it will go up. Yeah. All right, so maybe with low prices, I can get some people there. All right. Um, let's go see for now. Uh, about building another exhibit here. Let's see what animal we want to put in here. Abby, you want to come pick out an animal? Abigail, where are you guys at? Well, you want to come out and pick an animal for the zoo? What do you mean, where's Abby? Well, go find her. 
You think I can be watching your sister right now? Abigail. Well, that's not... Get up off the couch and go find her. So, let's see. Um, let's go um, grass. Let's see what grassland animals we have available here. The Vettel. Oh, yes, yeah, the honey badger. They're a problem. Um, You don't want to pick out an animal? All right. Mm, cheetah, perhaps? Uh, but we sort of want to go large grassland right now. Grassland. Non-extinct, preferably. So we've got the American. We already got the horse. The secretary bird we don't have yet. I guess the American Bison? Should we go with the American Bison? I guess we'll do the American Bison then. Racial Duvlaz. Alright, so let's uh, swing around here. Now they're going to need a fairly sizable pen here, I think. So let's see what we got here. Can we do concrete fence? I think that's what we're using right now. We'll do a larger size concrete fence, I think. Because those are the low concrete fences. We, well, you know, well, you know, I will do the regular concrete fence. So I think what we're going to want to do is bring you up around this way. Up around this way. Bring me up around this way. And I think we'll bring you right up around that way. Yeah, you're definitely going to need to be bigger than that. Um, uh, I'm glad guests love my zoo. That makes me so happy. So we're going to bring it out like that, out to here. I think that should be big enough. I think that should give us plenty of... plenty of room for the bison here. So uh, we'll do some acrylic glass here so you got a viewing area here in fact you know what? we'll just go the whole way around on this side here there we go let's take a look at what we got here yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Oh, Mercat 8 is going to give birth. I think we missed the pony's birth, but at least we can see the Mercat. Oh, there we go. The birth of a mercat. Yay. So another wild horse one is pregnant? I thought it was wild horse two. I don't see where the wild horse is giving birth yet though. Oh my goodness, it's a raid!
Holy Marcus! Hello, everybody! It's a mighty, it's an almighty raid! Oh my goodness, hello! Thank you, everyone! It's good to see everybody out there. Oh my goodness, all the raid love! Holy moly! All of a sudden, my chat's going wild here! Thank you, almighty juror! If I'm pronouncing that correctly, I'm sure I'm not, but thank you for the raid! Awesome, Zoss! Excellent, thank you very much! Ratings! Hi, everyone! Oh, look at, look at all the hearts and all the love! Yes, we love the raids! We love the raids! We love the Twitch kittens and all that stuff! Oh, pronouncing it good! There, there's a, there, there's a shock for you! A shock! Thank you. Thank, hey, thank, thanks for the raid. It's awesome. I, I, I much appreciated. Luna Bear, Nikita eight eighty one, Yana Bamanera. <laughs> I know I ain't pronouncing any of that correctly, but thank. Oh, thank you for the follow, Nikita. Thank you very much. It is much appreciated. Awesome sauce here. Awesome sauce. All right. Welcome everybody to a little bit of Zoo Tycoon here. We're just doing a real quick Zoo Tycoon stream here, just so I can get some game time in on it today before uh, we start our uh, Eclipse preparations here. We got about an hour before we hit our uh, peak time for the Eclipse. So out of curiosity, see if I can see anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is working. We can see a little bit of a shadow on it. We got a little pinhole viewer going on here. You, you see where you see where it's a little bit shadowed now yeah, on that side yeah that. yep so the pinhole viewer is definitely working excellent so we be able to see that with the eclipse I'll, I'll try to show that off in a little bit when we can see a little bit more of the eclipse out there cloudy oh yeah that stinks yeah we're uh, we're, we're we're kind of lucky where we're at here uh, outside of Philadelphia. It's a nice, hot, hot, uh, bright, sunny day. So uh, we actually lucked out. Normally when there's events like this going on, we, you know, something's going on and we can't watch them. But, uh, yes, this is the door. This is our kitchen door. I'm set up in the kitchen today. Um, and the phone's ringing. See who's on the phone? Here, give me the phone. Give me the phone. You only got four rings. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Northern Illinois. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's see what we got here. I have no idea what that is. Okay, spam call. Yeah, so uh, we're like, hey, we do have some clouds out there. In fact, it's uh, as I speak, uh, the clouds are starting to come over now, aren't they? Yeah, we are a little bit cloudy, but we should be okay to actually see the eclipse. Hopefully, this is actually the first time we've had the clouds over. But yes, that's that's the doorway to the back backyard. Yeah. Say so that's that's usually our case because I know um there was um event out here on the East Coast that NASA was uh, doing over the last couple of months. They were doing some atmosphere. They wanted to do some atmospheric tests, and it was supposed to be they were they're going to launch a rocket up into the atmosphere, and it's supposed to spew out some sort of colored chemical that you would be able to see. Um, and they were doing that to observe, I guess, the atmospheric patterns or something at a certain altitude. And they've had to, they had to postpone it for like two months straight because of weather where they're launch they were launching down, down south somewhere. But we would have been able to see it as far up as New York. And it was just one thing after another. Weather, somebody was, somebody was out boating somewhere and they couldn't do it. Um, and the whole thing, and it was always okay. Next uh, tomorrow, we'll do it. Uh, can't do it tomorrow. Weather, this and that. They finally ended up doing it at like four o'clock in the morning, so we completely missed it. So I was like, You gotta be kidding me! But yeah, so fortunately, we should we should be able to see the eclipse. We've got I've got we've got exactly an hour now before we hit uh the peak time for us, uh, which is 2 44 our time, so that's exactly in an hour. We're Right where we're at, we're only going to get 80%. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it should be good enough um, to get something. I've got my tablet here. I'm going to try to set my tablet cam to see um, if we can get a nice good shot at it. Um, see how well the, t the tablet picks it up. If not, we'll just be doing... Uh, good luck. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. And ho yeah, hopefully it's clear. I mean, it really... 
Now that I look at it, we, we do have a bit of clouds, and it is slightly, it's not just clouds, it, it's that sort of, sort of thin, thin layer, you know, that sort of overcasts everything, sort of gives everything a little bit of a haze. Yes, absolutely, never look directly at the sun. We couldn't, we don't have any uh, of, of the solar eclipse glasses every uh, every everything in our area was sold out the the uh, philadelphia zoo was the last place that had them on saturday now, i think they had about two thousand they sold them all on saturday um but yeah so that's what i figured you know the, the you know i've been able to watch a couple of eclipses in my lifetime obviously not total ones but partial eclipses um and pinhole viewer is is pretty good uh quick easy cheap option to do it yeah, so, yeah, cardboard box will help. It's nice that where the sun is and where our backyard is, we actually have right through the door here, the sun come, beams down directly. So we don't even have to go outside and we actually have, you know, the doorway in the house and everything sort of shades, shades the pinhole viewer pretty well that we can actually get a good look at it through the pinhole viewer. So I'm just curious to see how the tablet cam picks up on it. Uh, you know, kind of leery because even uh, depending on your equipment, I should, because I've been looking this up the last week uh, on whether, you know, you could use iPhones or a camera or something to try to get the Eclipse without looking directly at it. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I think I saw that. Uh, how to build, I, I saw, it may not have been the ABC website, but I did look up a website about, you know, trying to remember how to do the pinhole viewer, which is pretty simple. Two, you know, essentially two sheets of paper, you know, or even three by five index cards. Poke a hole in one, and then you just got to get the distance and the angle right, and you're good to go. Uh, so I figured the card, the cardboard here would be pretty good because it's pretty sturdy, um, and it's, uh, you know, a little bit bigger to give us a little bit more of a shaded area on the one with the pinhole. But like, uh, like I said, um, you know, with, 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 if, if we can actually do it inside, that helps with the shade anyway. Um, but yeah, I was looking to, to see it, um, how well various cameras and, you know, your smartphone, stuff like that fare. And apparently you, you do need solar filters uh, on, on some cameras. I guess it depends on the type of camera, like a DSLR, I think, uh, needs them um because you could actually burn out the the lenses and and fry the insides uh, oh thank you yana yana bamanerera for the follow thank you very much i gotta update my follower list too for you guys Hi, mommy. mommy's not on the phone right now um but apparently you know according to apple your your smartphone should be okay uh, without any filters or anything, so I'm assuming tablet cams would be the same way. So we're gonna gonna attempt the Yana. Everyone, yeah, that that might be a little bit easier. Yana, thank you, Yana, for the follow. Uh, tablet might be a little bit easier uh, with the ta uh, the tablet cam. We'll we'll see how it goes. All right, so let's see. Let's let's get our bison going here. So distracted with everybody here and raiding and everything else. So exciting. <laughs> so exciting so we'll see and then like i said we'll go uh we'll probably go about another 15 or 20 minutes here with the zoo just so we can get a couple of things built and then uh i'll uh switch over overlays here to a, a multi-cam setup i have and just just see if we can see anything like i said it's we won't we're only getting 80 percent here so it's not really going to be that spectacular but uh oh yeah we can yeah i can definitely see it now yeah, so we'll definitely see that. I'll definitely show that on the camera because the pinhole viewer is looking pretty good right now. But I'm just curious to see how uh, it's going to look through the tablet cam. I got a pair, of, a pair of the kids' sunglasses, too, to put over the lens of the tablet cam just to see if I can cut down on the glare and see if that helps any. Okay, so uh, now we're not doing Mercat, but thanks. Um, oh, my God, child. Thank you. Ah, uh, so let's see here. Let's let's get our American bison here. Let's go with all right. So we got that. What do you like to eat? Oh, you like hay too. So uh, good. Let's uh, first of all let's see what shelter we can get for you. Um, large stable. Let's go to the large stable. So not unlike the wild horse we have. So oh no, that's not going to be any good. I've got to rotate you. There we go. 
That's not where I wanted to put you, but thanks. Um, I hate that. I know there's a way to rotate it without setting it down, but I haven't quite gotten that down yet. I forgot. Yeah, it's been years and years. You've seen the Jurassic World Evolution trip? No, I have not. I didn't. E I didn't even know that they are yet attempting another, another <laughs> movie in the franchise. I haven't even seen Jurassic World. I'm sort of. Um, oh, oh, it's a game. Oh, okay. It's about six. I didn't even hear anything about another movie in it. I figured they cut their cut their losses with Jurassic World and let that be the last one. But it's a game, is it? Interesting. Uh, I will have to look at that. So, like I said, I was sort of, no, you, you got to get Minnie off my cord here. It's no good if you unplug my, my mic and headphones here. Um, oh, the trailer came out yesterday. Oh, okay, I'm going to uh, build your own park, man. Ooh, that, do, uh, that does sound like that would be right up my alley there. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to keep, um, of course, I don't have anything right there. I'm going to have to keep that in mind. I'm going to have to remember that to look that up once we're all done here today. Um... Did I place that yet? I didn't place that. How about I place that? There we go. Yeah, that'll definitely look like that. That would be fun to do. Especially dinosaurs. Now, we can, We actually can do dinosaurs here. Um, dinosaurs are an option, I think. Uh, in, in a limited aspect. Um, stop it. Uh, let's see what we got here. So, you, like, yeah, the saber tooth tiger, alligator type thing. Yeah, we've got, let's see, the uh, dino, the, the, yes, whatever that one is. We got our, the nepotry, yes, I can't pronounce any of this stuff. So, we, we, there's a handful here with the, the extinct animals expansion. I, mean, it's, can't, I was about to say stegosaurus, but I guess that's not it. Mammoth, yes, mastodon. Yeah, this trailer is only two minutes. PC and consoles, nice. All right, cool. Yeah, I will definitely have to check that out uh, today. All right, so we don't need tanks here. Trees. Let's get some trees in here. Uh, yellow fever tree. I don't know about that. Leaping morale. All right, let's go with the shepherd's tree. Uh, we'll throw a couple of trees out in this uh, area here. Uh, we'll throw, uh, I don't want to, we'll throw it right out here. Yeah, there we go, right in the edge here, I think. There we go. I got my little pool shoes You, you got, oh, you got your pool shoes on? Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll, you know, obviously, uh, I'm a variety gamer here, and, you know, I play all sorts of different stuff. Not as much as I'd like, just because there simply isn't time, especially for streaming. I'd like to be able to stream a whole lot of more different stuff but nasa stream for a while see you okay thank you yana yeah thank you thank you for swinging by thank you for the follow as well it's much appreciated thank you again everybody for coming over for the raid it's awesome second jurassic world uh the second oh so they are having a second movie it's gonna be a lot darker and scarier jurassic world fallen kingdom really <laughs> like they can't get any darker than they already have for god's sakes watching people get eaten by dinosaurs <laughs> It was, oh, good. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by. Uh, plants, here we go. We want some... There we go. Oh, prickly pear cactus. Yeah, let's throw some of that over here. Uh, let's throw some spinoza bushes here. So unfortunately, it's too gritty. You know, a little bit too of a grid here, so it's not as free form uh, as I'd like to do some of the setups here, so... Uh, we'll throw some here. Oh my god, is he not cleaning up the pea fowl poo? I'm gonna have to fire, fire the zookeeper. You, terrible job. You were doing a terrible job. You're fired. Alright, so we're gonna have to hire another zookeeper here real quick. Um... Uh, let's set some assignments for you. Give you that assignment. We'll give you that assignment. We'll give you that assignment. Okay. 
And I think, you know what, what, what we're going to end up doing, I'm going to hire, you know, I'm going to hire another zookeeper and uh, split up the assignments here. So they'll have two each. So what I may want to do then is move this. Uh, let's do this here. Uh-oh, Mercat 4 has passed away. Oh, no. Uh, rumor it may really be the last movie. Ah, uh, yeah, we, well, you always know how those things go. Yes, this is definitely, absolutely, first shizzles, the last movie. And then in five years, oh, you know what? Hey, let's make another movie. Yeah, so let's make another one. <laughs> Rexy last. Oh, T, oh, T Rex is, oh, ah, the last T Rex movie. Well, what, what would be the point then? You gotta have a T-Rex. If it's a dinosaur movie, you gotta have a T-Rex in it. I mean, come on now. Um, da, 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 uh, here. Here, 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 here. No. Ah, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Gate. We're gonna throw a gate here. Which means I'm gonna have to move this. Because that'll be blocking the gate. There we go. Then what I can do is... Go back to here. Low concrete wall. Where's our low concrete wall here? Um, low concrete fence, whatever. Whatever. Okay, there we go. All right, so that squares that up. So what I'm going to do right now, then, is take... Uh, where are you? There you are. Um, assignment two. Um, assignment two is assignment one. So we're going to delete that assignment from you. Okay. We're going to hire another zookeeper here. I think they're trying to go. Oh, hybrid route. Ah, okay. Hybrids. Yeah, which they sort of, like I said, I didn't see Jurassic World, but I think the, the I, I guess the concept of that was sort of hybrid dinosaurs. That seemed to be some of the things mentioned in the trailer. So, uh, interesting. So, we'll, yes, that'll be your assignment. This will be your assignment. There we go. So, yeah, it's like, you know, I saw the first two. I'm trying to think if I saw the third one. I don't know if I even saw the third one. But even after the second one, I was like, eh, you know, mm, really didn't do anything for me at that point. Uh, did I do something here? They didn't like, oh no, those are just the trees, okay. Indoraptor, in new, in new Indoraptor. <laughs> Alrighty then. But yeah, like, the, obviously the first one is the first one, so it's always going to be you know sort of the best one i think i think i think with jurassic world is just like uh you know and, uh, oh thank you for the follow too by the way Jax. thank you thank you thank you i gotta update my follower list here um we'll do that as soon as i finish up our buffalo pen here uh, but yeah it's just uh you know after the second one it's like okay you know dinosaurs take over manhattan that type of thing you know um okay it sort, of, it sort of got a little bit too cheesy for me at the end. I think what did it in for me for the second one. I did see the third one because I think that one had Malcolm in it. I think Malcolm was the main star of that one, right? Um, so, yeah, I did see that one. That one, that one I, I didn't think was too bad. I, I kind of like that one. The second one, eh, not so much. The third one I thought was, was fairly decent. If that's the one with Malcolm, if not, it was the second one. The third one is my favorite with the Spinosaurus. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think because it's been so long since I've seen any of them. And I think I actually have all three on DVD. I, thought I, I think I bought the DVD set. But, like, the first one obviously was great. But the one that, that Malcolm uh, was, the, was, was the main key character there, I, I kind of like that one, too. That one wasn't too bad. Now, which that may have been the one that, of course, the dinosaurs took over. You know, they ran into the city and you know, all that stuff, which I thought was fairly cheesy. I think that that was the part that ruined it for me. But I think otherwise, I, I kind of like that one. So yeah, now I'm sort of now now I'm sort of like you know, I, I have to go through and watch them again just so I remember what happened in each each one. 
All right, so uh, let, let me get uh, uh let's get the let's get the beefalo here out of the bison. Uh, that was under grassland. Make myself make my life easier here. Third one is when the Doctor Grant gets tricked into going back to fly and calls a couple son and uncle. Okay, all right, I did. All right, so it's the second one. Yeah, we're Malcolm, and then yeah, what's his name takes the dinosaurs on the boat to. To LA or New York or whichever city it is and the the T-Rex gets loose all right so that's the second one so yeah I didn't like the, the I didn't like the part where they run it through running the muck in in New York or wherever it was I didn't really like the rest of the movie I thought was good I didn't see the third one so yeah the third one brought dr. Grant back okay that one I don't remember I don't think I saw that one it's sort of like after watching, you know, the, the last 20 or 30 minutes of, of number two, it's like, really? All right. That, that sort of was like, eh, yeah, no, that's sort of, yeah, I didn't really. I thought it was a little bit, a little bit too of the cheese, too much on the cheese. And do I want rocks in here? No, nah, I don't think I'll put rocks in there. Uh, I think what we'll do here. So I, I should just go see the third one. I see, since I, like I said, I, I should have the box set that has all three movies in it. Uh, we want more dirt here, thanks. There we go. A little bit more dirt here. All right, there we go. We'll throw some dirt out that way. There we go. We got some nice pathways there. Uh, Ian Malcolm actually is in the upcoming Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom film. Ah, interesting. All right, good. So I like his character. I, I always liked his character. Um... I'm trying to, I can't, I can't think of the actor's name and I should know it, but I, I'm, you know, I, I've, I have far too many of those senior moments anymore. Um, I don't need that. We'll do this. We'll throw this here. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I really liked his character in, in both the first two films. Jeff Goldblum, that's it. Yes, of course. So he does, he does the apartments.com commercials, all that stuff. So I really like him. I, I like him as an actor. And uh, I, I really like I really like the character of Ian of how he played Ian Malcolm in both those films. So I think r really probably I like the second film. May, he he might be the saving grace of why I actually like like the second film for the most part. <laughs> yeah, Doctor Grant, I liked him too. Yeah, I mean definitely I thought you know he you know he did a good job as well. Um, you know that character uh, was good in the movies. I, I well, really, I mean, they they all did great jobs. But I think I think out of all of them, you know, Malcolm is sort of my favorite character in the series. Uh oh, I'm losing fame here because I know I'm just I'm just talking away here, not focusing on what I'm doing here. As we got to finish this up so we can start our uh, eclipse preparations here. Uh, how much sun we got here? We got some sun. All right, we got. Yes, yeah, so it's starting to starting to haze over. Let me take a quick look here and see what we got here. We still got enough. Oh yeah, so we're yeah we're doing good. The pinhole is about halfway covered right now. Yep, that's good. That's coming out real nice. So we'll see. We'll start getting set up here in a minute as we plant our buffalo down. So what we need we need some hay for the buffalo. Um. Let's throw that out here. We're going to need water. We'll give them a water trough too. So we'll put the water trough out here. Um, toys. All right. They got a couple of carrots. They got their salt lick, which is good. Um, I don't think there's anything else. We need shelter. Good. Got the trees. Plants. We're not going to put any rocks out in this one. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good to throw down our buffalo now. All right, so we'll throw the female, we'll throw one of each out here, female, and the male, and we're good. There we go. All right, so we got our American American bison. Here we go. Um, so what we want to do now, uh, do I have, all right, I got the donation box there. So we wanted another donation box here. Um, just got to remember where they're at. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, here it is. 
Just a regular donation box. Thank you. So we'll put you. Yeah, we don't want you there. Uh, we need to turn you. We need to turn. All right, zoom in here a bit. There we go. All right, good. So we got that. We're good there. All right, so we, we got a, we, at least we got a little something accomplished in these 45 minutes here. Um, I did want to see here. Just can't get anybody to this pony ride here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Keeper Ford can't reach the poo. Oh, all right, so let's head in here. We'll clean that up. We'll take a walk around our zoo. Oops, space bar. Thank you. God creates dinosaurs. God destroys dinosaurs. God creates man. Man creates dinosaurs. Man destroys God. Yes, indeed. Yes. Ain't that the truth of the matter? Classic line there. He he, he had to, he, they they. I have to. Oh, there's there's our little pony. There's our little wild pony horse. He was born. We missed his birth, but uh. Yeah, I have to say the writing for for the original two was pretty good with some of the lines they gave Malcolm. Um, all right, so what I want to do here is save first and foremost. Uh, let's save the game. We'll take a quick, uh, yep, large grassland. Yep, let's overwrite that. Gonna crash. Oh, whew. I thought it was gonna crash because I've had I've had one or two issues with this game. Um, crashing when I was saving and it completely ruined the save game files. I had to start over. So okay, we're good there. Uh, we've already witnessed a birth, so we'll wait on that. What I do want to do is pop in here. Just take a quick uh, run around the zoo here. Uh, oh, let's go this way. Restaurant. Banging out here. So I think uh, next time, next week. Uh, I mean, we got people down here looking at the aquariums. So I mean, the aquariums did their job. And that you know, we got people down here. Oh yeah, there's a restaurant down here. Um, but we can't get them down here. Nobody's interested in riding ponies yet. So as much as I like having the uh, Jack saying dinosaurs could be back in the next fight. Really? 50% complete? Really? Why wouldn't that surprise me? Why wouldn't that... It, it, it would be interesting, but it, uh, then again, I mean... I mean, science fiction finally becomes reality, as you know we we've seen quite in many instances. But really, I mean, we we still have some ancestors of the dinosaurs here, and things like the alligator, the crocodile, even birds. I mean, obviously, there's those theories going around that dinosaurs are more related to birds than reptiles. Um, all right, where's the poop you can't reach now? I thought we went and got that poop. Let's go clean up that poo. But, I mean, it would be interesting to see how dinosaurs really, really were. You know, if, if, if our science and technology can actually um, do that. But, you know, if we're going off a sort of you know, as they did in Jurassic Park, you know, mixing frog DNA with, you know, some sort, you know, DNA which may or may not be dinosaur DNA from a mosquito or whatever. You know, is it really going to be 
dinosaurs as as they were millions of years ago. We just don't know. We've got a bird's beak to change to a dinosaur, snap with teeth and bringing bir a bird's wing to face forward. Hmm, interesting. But we'll see. Yeah, like anything else, we'll see. We'll see where the science leads us. There we go. Replenish the hay. All right, so we got about half an hour before we hit um, uh, eighty percent here. Reach our uh, peak eclipse time. So let's uh, let's just clean up a little bit more poo here. Oh, beat you to it. We'll groom you. There you go. Make you happy. Clean up the poo. All right, good. So let's uh, get out of there. We'll save one more time here. Large grassland zoo, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see what we can see here in the next half hour or so. Kiss the zoos goodbye when Jurassic Park becomes a reality. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to. But then again, you know. You know, sort sort of like in the first movie, how much how much are you gonna check ten thousand bucks? The average person can't afford ten thousand bucks to go see dinosaurs. So I think at some point zoos will have their place. Whether you know whether they'll 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 be the zoos that we know right now is an entirely a different story. Okay, so let me run my outros here. Uh, tidy up my uh, my my stream here because we do upload this stuff to YouTube's saving yes yeah, start saving your money now and then uh, uh, we'll be right back here in a flash I just want to run my outros here for the video and then uh, we'll be right back so stick around everybody thanks for watching this episode of oh animals gone wild <laughs>